Hi everybody, it's Jennifer Lockwood, your local realtor here in Fairfield, Connecticut, and I'm on today to start a video series on the 12 neighborhoods here in Fairfield. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, just click on the link below so that you don't miss any upcoming videos. So Fairfield, Connecticut is located on the southwestern part of the state. We are just an hour and a half outside of New York City, and we are right on the coastline of Long Island Sound. Fairfield will always be an attractive place to move to and live in because of our location, our community, and our amenities. Now, as far as location, I already told you we're only an hour and a half outside of New York City, but also we have um, two main highways, the Merritt Parkway and I-95 and Metro North train station running right through our town. So it's easy access for commuters and for those that just want easy access to travel. While this town has close to 62,000 residents, we have 12 distinctly different neighborhoods and those neighborhoods give us that small town feel. We also have a vibrant town center full of small businesses and entrepreneurs. And uh, the mantra here in the town of Fairfield is doing it local and the residents support all those local businesses as well. We have close to 100 dining options with award-winning restaurants, so so many choices for us as residents. We also have consistently high-rated public school system as well as culture and the arts. In addition to that, we have amenities that promote this healthy lifestyle. So we have public golf courses, there's a town gym, there's sidewalks. Not a day goes by that you don't see somebody running or walking on the roads here in Fairfield. We also have conservation areas owned by the town with hiking and walking trails, and as well as my favorite thing, which is water activities. So we have a lake, Lake Mohegan, and we also have numerous public beaches right on Long Island Sound, plus two harbors, Southport Harbor and Fairfield Marina for those boat lovers. So there is something for everyone. So the two neighborhoods I'm going to start with today is the University area and the Sturgis neighborhood. I, I'm starting with these two because they're near and dear to my heart. This is exactly where I was born and raised, right on the border of these two neighborhoods. And my parents actually still live here and they are surrounded by longtime family and friends. But the university area is exactly that. First of all, we have two universities in town, Sacred Heart University on the northeastern part of the town, and then Fairfield University right north of the town center in the Post Road. And that's where I am right now on the campus of Fairfield U, and it's also where I graduated from. It is a beautiful 200 acre campus. It's enclosed with walking trails, beautiful um, athletic fields, and open space. And these run seamlessly into all the residents that surround this area. And that's what's considered the university areas, all the, the houses and the neighborhoods that, that um, surround Fearful University. These neighborhoods are tree-lined. They have many cul-de-sacs and hidden walking trails as well. But also a benefit is the proximity to Fearfield U. Fearfield U has the quick center for the arts and it houses uh, theater, music, and dance. So you have easy access to adult and children's programs, cultural events, and art exhibits. As well as the fact that the university area is very close to town, so you're in close proximity to mass transit. Um, and additionally, if you're on the eastern part of the university area, you're actually in between two of our town centers. So the main town center is Post Road area, but then we also have Black Rock Turnpike, which has its own set of shopping and restaurants as well. So it's easy access to both. So the next neighborhood is the Sturgis neighborhood. This borders the train station and the Post Road, and it's just west of Fairfield Ludlow High School. When you drive down the streets of the Sturgis neighborhoods, there's lots of charm and character and historical architecture. Additionally, there's the Sturgis Park, which has some athletic fields and honestly, the best sled riding hill in town. Also, you are close proximity to town, so you can walk to the train or to restaurants or to shopping. Additionally, there's a few conservation areas owned by the town, so you have access to those areas. Um, Perry Mill Pond is the largest of that, and the elementary schools still do field trips there where they study life organisms and the land. Um, you can go, and I'll put the link below, there's, it's a conservation area with walking and hiking trails, and there's three different entrances, so I'll, I'll put that link for you in case you want more information on that. While there are 12 different neighborhoods, they all have 
charming characteristics and just know whichever one you choose will be perfect for you and your family. I hope you found this information helpful and I will see you next time.